Hello and welcome to my channel Creative Gaming. My name is Dodia and I have built an automatic sorting system. And in this video I'm gonna teach you how to build exactly the same one as I have. Alright, so basically what you need is a hopper, you need a chest, a dropper, a redstone dust, a repeater, a redstone comparator, redstone torches and a random block type. So at first we are going to start with building uh, the place where we put in the things that we're going to need. Um, so here we have that space. So the first thing you are go you want to do is to take your droppers and place up and place to the side and then boom. Then you take a hopper that goes into the uh, lowest and then you take a chest and place on top of that. Then you take a comparator that you can have on basically any side of the system. Um, I'm just gonna place it here. Then you're going to want a stone block. Then you want a redstone repeater. Over here you also want stone, stone blocks where you have a redstone repeater on top that is clicked in one tick. And then you connect all of this with redstone. Now the dispensing system is should be working. You can use this system um, to, if you like, take something simple um, as a water like sliding thing. I use hoppers because I can't stand the sound of the water thingy. Alright, so um, you can't have any chest on this block because then we could interfere with the redstone here. But we can have chests everywhere else. So we're just going to place six chests. Uh, you can make the system as long as you want to. Um, there should not be a limit but if you have any errors and just put a junk chest in the end because you will need a junk chest if like it's a really big system all right so uh we we put redstone torches here that is going yeah yeah we put redstone torches here that's going to like do something and then we take comparators that are facing that way then we are going to place hoppers facing into the chests we are going to place hoppers facing into the comparators and lastly we are going to place hoppers that are facing into the stone um, because if you don't, then you uh, then you don't get the things out. Um, because if all of it went down here, then the whole the system would like fuck up quite quickly. Then we have our redstone repeater that we are going to place all the way here, and from here on we are going to cover this up, and we are going to place stone all of it here. And then on all of these stone parts you are just going to place a piece of redstone dot dust not dot <laughs> all right so now um we are ready for our last step where well, you as the player basically just have to go find a block that you're not going to have through this system uh if you do not have a block that you're not going to get through the system you can just take an anvil take some dirt and name it one two three and then in the hopper connected to the comparator you will want to place your one two three a block in the last four spots in each of the hoppers that are connected to the comparator um the reason why it cannot be a block that comes into the system 
is because then that blood will go into and that will uh, destroy your system. Um, but it should be an easy fix. So now we can see all of them is we're just staring that there's something inside of the hopper. Then you go, uh, in this case, let's just say we are going to have uh, some different kind of walls in, in these chests. And um, if you have built the system correctly, now when you place in uh, your different color of wool, then you should see that they end on 41, all of them. Yeah, and in this chest is going to be one and there come 22 down here. Um, in theory, you can just place 41 in the hopper to begin with, but just to make sure, because in I have, in, in single player worlds, I see 41 in normal, in, in multiplayer worlds, I see, I see 40. There's some places where I see 40, no, uh, no 31, um, so that's going to depend a little bit. Then you just place staircases over your chests, so uh, so that makes sense. All right. So if we go down and take the types of walls that we uh, have. And place, and place into our chest here. Then we should um, now see that they are slowly filling up inside the chest. So that's basically um, this very easy sorting system that uh, anyone can do. It's really easy. Uh, I have never been much off uh, with some player. I have always tended to. Um, concentrate and focus a little bit more on the building side of things but I really like playing with redstone and I'm so happy to have learned this but as I said I actually have a little bit of an add-on to this um, it's not gonna make sense with wool but th basically I just have hoppers um, that goes down into this chest, right? And they come from another chest and an oven because this is a really, really, really easy design. Um, so that's coming down and then you just have a chest here where you have hoppers then you have furnaces on top of these and in each furnace you will have a chest connected uh, you can also just connect one but like from different sides I think at least I think you can where you are going to put the coal inside of and then you on top of this have a chest um, so that you can place your like Oh, wait. Well, do a double tish, right? But like, yeah, like that. Then you have a super smelter, and like, you can make the super smelter even smarter. But like, so I actually do not have a space down here for coal. I just put coal inside my chest, and boom, then it smelts and gets automatically down there. So, uh, yeah, that should be everything. So, uh, giant thank you for watching this channel, um, or this video, and I really hope you learned something. Um, personally, I saw another tutorial, uh, at first, um, which works perfectly in single player, but didn't seem to quite work correctly in multiplayer, and therefore I adjusted the design a little bit. And now it works perfectly. Before I would have weird errors like 
Iron wouldn't go into chest. Lapis wouldn't go into chest. Granite and andesite wouldn't get go into chest. Dirt wouldn't go into chest. And then I would rebuild it, thinking that I did something wrong. And then it would like be diamond that didn't go into chest and redstone. And then it would be diorite and like it was really weird. It's fixed now. Um, and I can't wait to get the system done because I. Uh, Right now I have from my mining resources and I have from my dirt, but I'm actually going to, uh, down on this wall, I'm going to, like, yeah, have, uh, useful resources right here. I'm going to, like, have ender chests and stuff. I haven't, I don't have the stuff for an ender chest yet, but it's coming. Um, and I don't know what's going to be the last place. Um, random stuff, I guess. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, remember to post a big thumbs up and like it and click the subscribe button and click the little bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you did enjoy this video, then, uh, if you like it and uh, really enjoyed it, I'm going to talk about this one because this is a really cool design and it's only one block, like, thick and, like, it's a it's really compact design for uh for a three by three doll. So uh if you wanna see that, uh like, subscribe. Don't miss out on it. And then remember to check out all the links in the description box below. There's links for my Facebook, my Twitter, my Twitch, my Mixer, and my Instagram account. And of course, remember to join my Discord server where you can find me or my friend Mass Show and ask us any question and who knows. If you're lucky, you can play together with me and my show here on Bluecraft. Thanks for watching!